Hi there, this is Eric Keller for Ochoy. In this video, we'll take a quick look at how to get up and running fast using Octane for Unity. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to unity.otoy.com and click on the link for the Unity Asset Store free sample scenes. And the scene that you're gonna to wanna to use is the Octane Render for Unity installer scenes. If I click on this, you can see here's a quick description. So I'm gonna choose Add to My Assets. This scene, of course, is free. And once you've added it to your assets, let's click on Open in Unity. So we can choose Open Unity Editor. And let's actually create a new project. We'll just call this Octane Install. And now we can see here's Unity Open and we have it open to the Asset Store. So let's click on Download. You'll get the Import Unity Package dialog, so I'll choose Import. And it's going to take a few moments to install the necessary assets. And you can see that we do have in the assets, we have the installer scene, and the materials and textures. So what I can choose to do is go into the assets and Octane installer scene and double click on the Octane installer. You'll notice that we do have an Octane menu now as part of the Unity interface. And here's the game view, and I'll zoom out here in the scene view. We have our Octane spaceship, and of course the Unity logo on the plane. And if we want to do a quick test of the Octane integration, we can select PBR render target here in the hierarchy, make sure that we load Octane, so the plugin is part of the scene. And now I'm going to press on render. This will open up the PBR viewer, and it will compile the scene. Once the scene is compiled, we can see here it is in the PBR render viewport. Of course, the image is a little bit cropped, so what I'm gonna do is select PBR render target, go to the film settings, and let's set the height to 1280. And there we can see we have our nice view, and we can see that the Octane plugin is now functional and part of this project. So I'm going to start a new project. Let's close the PBR viewport and choose File, New Project. We'll just call this Blank Project. And choose Create. I don't need to save this at the moment. So as you can see, I have a new project, but the Octane menu is missing from the top of the interface. So uh, rather than go through the entire installation process that I just went through, uh, I can actually just import a small part of that scene that I downloaded and that will help to install the Octane integration so that I can use it for my own scenes. I'm going to choose Import Package, Custom Package. So I could just find that project that I created in the earlier part of the video or wherever I've downloaded that installer scene and select the Whole Material Unity Package and choose Open. This will bring open the dialog again. And what I can do is I can choose not to install the textures or the materials, but I just want to install the plugin. So I'll choose Import. If a new version of the Octane plugin is available, you'll get this dialog. So I'll choose Upgrade, just to download and upgrade it. And you can see that once it's done importing, I have that Octane menu item here as part of the Unity interface. It may ask you to do a backup. I'm going to choose No Thanks in this case. But you can see now I have the Octane menu up here. I can choose the settings window. So I'm going to choose load Octane. And once the license is activated, you can see this becomes active as well. I'm just going to move this PBR settings tab over here. So I have access to it. I'll open up the inspector. Then I need to go to the Octane window, create a PBR render target. You can add as many of these as you like to to your project. This has all the settings you need to control the Octane rendering. And I can start adding my scene elements and rendering the Octane. So I choose Game Object. I'll just create a quick sphere. And go to the PBR Render Target and choose Render. You can see there's my sphere looking a little fuzzy. That's just because we have some depth of field blurring on here. So I'll go to the camera settings and set the aperture to zero. Now I'm rendering with Octane. And you can see as I rotate the view, 
There we go. So that's kind of an easy trick for loading Octane into your own projects without having to necessarily uh, load in all the elements of the installer scene. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks again for watching.